Welcome back to ESO Live. How are you feeling? Terrible. Oh. <laughs> Gina's a little feeling a little under the weather today, so everybody be nice to her, please. I'm going to try not to breathe on you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just kind of sit over you here. You all know if I'm uh, sick next week, why? <laughs> okay, so we're really happy to be back. We're back in our cozy home studio. Yeah, um, last time we were on, we were in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. We had just announced elsewhere. A lot has happened since then. Yes. A whole yes. lot. <laughs> And now we've got Rathstone on PTS. So uh, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Anybody joining us today? I'm Jessica. I'm Jada. And this is Colin. He's <laughs> we're going to talk to him in yeah. just a minute. Um, but we've got a little bit of news to go over first. So Rathstone on PTS, update 21. It's happening. Um, we have a PTS patch next Monday. It's going to be our third patch. Uh, we're doing uh, PCEU character copy and um, this is kind of the patch where we have a lot of some adjustments for the racial passives going in so stay tuned for that It'll be some good. good stuff It'll be good. Uh, we did meet with the class reps earlier this week we went through a lot of the PTS changes and a lot of feedback and um, they seemed pretty pretty happy with some of the stuff going in so we're actually going to try and get those notes up from the meeting up hopefully this weekend so you guys can kind of start to digest some of that see we work over the weekend for you guys i know we've got you all the time forever <laughs> <laughs> so um also real quick twitch drops are turned on mm -hmm. all you have to do is make sure your pc mac account is linked to your twitch account and you just will automatically get a drop after the show ends do the thing get the stuff do stuff and get the thing. <laughs> but the stuff doesn't include spamming and chat. Yes. Like, all you have to do is link your stuff you and then that's it. Dragons. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> don't need to type. <laughs> Just to be clear. <laughs> and uh, elsewhere, we announced that. So, if you haven't pre purchased yet, there's some really cool pre purchase rewards. Make sure you do that before June. Yes. Yeah, if you pre purchase, I don't know if you guys have seen, there's like this black blue glowy horse that people are running around on that's mm -hmm. the rod and mothra mount you get that now you will get that as soon as you pre-purchase which is pretty freaking cool mm -hmm. um and then depending on which version you buy we have a whole cool chart on social kind of showing it but you get all sorts of little digital things if you get the collector's edition or just the digital version so it's it's good stuff if you get the full versions of elsewhere you are, do get access to morrowind and somerset which is pretty awesome you get access immediately mm-hmm immediately so Exciting. you could be playing through the previous two chapters in preparation for this while one. you're waiting indeed what else we had just announced a really fun gift gifting event yep today it's, i think right yes it was this morning um and you get the pink pearl pig so if you say that 10 times fast pink pearl pig <laughs> pink pearl pig it's awfully cute um <laughs> where we affectionately call it the hearts day hammy hair um or babe or babe either way um, gosh, what is his name? I can't remember its name, default name. It's Babe. Is it? No, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's it what we're going to call it. It has a name. It's in the article. So that's we've got cool. an article up about this, uh, this promo. If you gift uh, from the Crown Store up to a 1,000 crowns worth of whatever you like to two accounts on the same platform as yourself, a minimum of two, you will get this super adorable pig in March. So any time through the month of February, spread the love. Basically, give Pretty gifts to your, to your favorite pals. Uh, we did allude to a Morrowind celebration event in the Twitch Drops article. That's our very first chapter celebration event. It is. So that's, cool. that's coming. Details mm -hmm. TBD, right? Yep. We haven't said anything else, right? I don't think. I don't think so. There, there will be details coming up next week. So you can expect to see that. And lastly, we we actually don't remember if we told you guys this during the um, the <laughs> announcement stream, but we will have elsewhere playable during PAX East, so we will have details pretty soon since we know PAX is coming up. It's at the end of March. Yep. Um, this but will you be an will, offsite event. Yeah. So you don't need a PAX badge in order to come. Yep. Uh, you can come by and see us and play elsewhere and there'll be a live stream and some giveaways and all sorts of neat stuff. We are very first so. public hands-on. We're really excited. Yeah, it'll be fun. So details coming very soon since mm -hmm. PAX is coming up very soon. Yep. But um, you will not need a PAX badge. It'll be off-site during PAX. Mm -hmm. So good stuff. So I think we skipped our show schedule. So we'll take a look at that real quick. <laughs> well, we're already basically <laughs> like, a third news, of the way news, through. News. <laughs> 
All right, so news and introductions done. That so happens. We can check these off. <laughs> um, update 21. We're going to have Colin, who's been just silently sitting next to us <laughs> so talking patient. about. I just so uh, patient. He's like, come on, guys, hurry up. Um, going to be talking about the new Elanir Private Arena house, which is coming in update 21. This is like the PvP house. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll be running through Frost Vault, one of the new dungeons <coughs> coming up with Wrathstone. For your pleasure, for better or worse, we are going in blind, um, Gina and I at least. We haven't done this. We haven't, haven't watched anything. Haven't done haven't it. read anything. I know there is. <laughs> you turn into little Skeeton. We know or about something. the Skeeton fight. That'll be fun, right? And that's it. It'll and be easy. I think we're doing it on normal, so like, <laughs> come on. It'll be fine. Gotta be able to do this, right? <laughs> All right, well, let's get into <coughs> the house, please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, this is actually currently on PTS, right? So yep. people can so check can... it out if they want to, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. And yep. this is a house that players have been asking about since we launched housing. They've said, give us something that's like an arena or PvP uh, arena. Yeah, um, there's, <laughs> Colin was yeah like, there's a okay. lot of different requests that come in all the yeah. time. Um, but one of the things that we know people like to do is build an arena in their house. Mm -hmm. um, and we do have... Furnishings kind of only exist on the client mostly, so if you're doing combat abilities, you can run into some problems uh, if you're building your own arena. So we tried to design a space where we could minimize those problems while still bringing in that arena feel and try to do something special along the way. Sweet. So this is the Ellen here private arena. What? It's, uh, Look at Finnegan back there, just twiddling <laughs> his thumbs. It's um, wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just west of Ellen here, uh, as the name may indicate. Uh, it's also built atop the ruins oh, wow. of Molivar, That's uh, which is, if you've played Craglorn, the haunted, lava-filled, alien ruin there. Uh, and it's also near the Bloodroot Forge entrance. Um, and if you've played Bloodroot Forge, uh, there's a lot of fire in there. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things that we did was, because there's this lava theming to both of the nearby locations, uh, we actually rebuilt the overworld a little bit here to bring in this lava lake in oh, your backyard. Cool. More lava. Uh, wow. Which is dope. Uh, <laughs> cool. uh, it would then, be actually more fun if you could knock back a player over that ledge and then they just fall into the lava. So we yeah, actually right? uh, we brought something a little similar to that into it. Um, so this is kind of the Arena Masters uh, overlook here. Some nice thrones nice. in the furnished version. Um, Ooh, but what in do the levers center? do? Is that a Triforce? <laughs> it is not a Triforce. It is a I triangle mean, with some is. other triangles in it. <laughs> I don't know, man. No, I really um, like it. It is, it is what happens when you have three lines that, yep. that cross like that. Yep. Um, <laughs> it's just uh, a triangle-shaped grill. <laughs> yeah, um, but that is lava in there. Uh, cool. And the lava will hurt you if you stand in the lava, like yeah. lava does. Um, so <laughs> if you're fighting in the middle of the arena, you could always knock someone oh, into the lava, yeah. uh, nice. which, you know, a fun potential tactical opportunity. Um, but you may have noticed that there were some levers up here. Yeah, I want to know what the levers are. So any guest that's visiting your house can just pull these levers, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's these are fun. These are set up so anyone can use them. Um, if you exit the house long enough, they'll spin down. Um, mm. The idea is that you can turn on various traps to kind of spice up combat in the arena. So if you wanted to turn on, say, randomized oh, lava bombs, nice. uh, you, you could like, do that. Hey, friend, go stand down there for no particular reason. Yep. Um, <laughs> we also have the ever popular Glimmer Blade Trap, uh, which summons a set of spinning blades. Oh, oh, um, oh a new move. Yep. <laughs> yep. And we, we tone down the speed on these a little bit so that they're a pace that you can adapt to. So it's mm -hmm. not like, you're surprised by them and then you're dead. It's right. more like you see them coming and maybe you can take advantage of that. Maybe you can maneuver the other person into mm -hmm. it. Maybe you can use it to pressure the other person. Um, they do a fair amount of damage because they're slow. Uh, and then we also have a lightning trap. Uh, and what this guy does is there are a series of little nodes along the edge of the arena oh, wow. uh, <laughs> that transmit lightning between them. Um, and it changes patterns periodically. Oh, that's uh, fun. This one will also drain your resources a little bit when it hits you. Mm. Um, as well as snare you. Um, so I see a couple of people asking in chat, is this a battleground or a house? It is a house. This is a house. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was, it was cool. partially inspired by, um, I think Al Karak was the name of the mm, battleground, mm -hmm. uh, with the blade trap in the center of it. Um, and we wanted to try and get that feel of being able to impact someone else's fight 
by uh, by throwing a lever. So, so the, you could have a really fun like guild duel night in here. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of control how crazy the traps are because you could turn on all the traps if you really wanted to make it. Hectic. Oh, you can do them all at once. Uh -huh. oh. um, <laughs> but if you wanted to make it a little more manageable, you could just kind of uh, <laughs> turn on one or two at a time. Oh, um, fun. You could also, if you wanted to, say test out how good a DPS is at not standing in the circles, you could put a target dummy down there <laughs> yeah. and have them uh, do their rotation while you turn on and off traps. Mm -hmm. um, so this is definitely kind of the focal point of the house, uh, but there is actually a little more to it as well. Um, so if we go outside, I already showed you the lava lake, but <laughs> off to the right we have a uh, small platform for decorating however you like. Um, I'm actually going to put down a new statue from a little while ago. Ba, ba, ba. Or a new statue that will be coming up, rather. Um, so this is a statue of Meridian. Oh, oh wow. Um, so it's gigantic. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's full size. Um, and she has a neat thing where you can uh, toggle on and off this globe that uh, shows up there. Um, oh, that's cool. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to cheat to set it to nighttime. Dev hacks. Dev <laughs> server. Uh, that wasn't all the way to nighttime, sorry. Try again. There we go. Yeah. Um, oh, so that's you can kind of cool. get a sense of the lighting wow. from that. Wow. That's neat. Yeah. That and sense. that furnishing is coming up, right? That's not on there yet? Yes. That will be something that comes up over the course of update 20. Yeah. Cool. Um, and for anyone asking, we haven't announced how much this is going to be or even when it's coming. It'll just be sometime after update 21 launches, Correct. right? Yep. Um, it's not going to be more expensive than our prior LTOs. This, even though we're adding new functionality, yeah. it's, we're not going to go any higher. Um, this is uh, intended to be the Arena Master's home, although of course you could do whatever you want with it. Uh, we went with sort of an open plan here. Um, a lot of the time we would put doors in to kind of block access, mm -hmm. uh, but because it's this you know, sort of naturally temperate climate here, uh, thanks to your gorgeous lava lake and the normal tem uh, temperate climate of I'm sure it's a nice warm. breeze that comes off the lava. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we wanted to kind of keep it open so that you have more options on how you build. Nothing like um, going to sleep with the sound of bubbling lava in the background. Mm -hmm. right? It's very soothing. Um, <laughs> and then back off to the side here is another small side area which links back into the arena. Um, yeah, this looks really fun. I could definitely imagine guilds creating events around this. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and, and we want to enable that as much as we can. If you um, try this out on PTS, please uh, post feedback to the forums or the in-game feedback mm -hmm. or on Twitter or wherever. Yeah, you guys usually watch the housing feedback pretty closely. Yep, we read almost everything in the housing forum, even though we tend to lurk. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but we do read it, and we do very much appreciate the feedback. Um, Neat. I really like this. I know we will sometimes hear guilds talking about how they want to have these duels and they go into Cyrodiil and then other people come in and kind of just yeah. jump in and kill everybody. They so just want a this, private whole, space. <laughs> this will be nice for little dueling tournaments. Yeah. Um, or even just trolling each other, really. <laughs> <laughs> um. <coughs> well, cool. And I know there's also another house that's on PTS, which we aren't showing off today, but. Um, if you're able to download it, I forget what the name of it is. What's the other one? <laughs> the Frostbolt Cabin. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, right. Which is part of the kind of themed after the one we're going in today. Yeah. Yep. It's it's a old alternate entrance to the dungeon. Uh, cool. There's a large, expansive cave, and it's a medium home. Mm. And okay. what size is this one? This one will be a manor. Um, so okay. 700 slots when you have ESO plus. Mm -hmm. uh, 350 with it. Awesome. All right. Well, that was a good segue. Yeah. Mentioning something about Frost Vault because we're about to go into that dungeon. So Thanks, thank Colin. you, Colin. Awesome. For joining us, our housing dude. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure we'll see you around another sure. time. All right. Thank you. So we need to do like a little clever segue thingy or something here. So we could kind of skip out and go into the room with Finnegan and Rich. We're anxiously waiting to heal us. All right, so we will be <laughs> right back. So it's a year-long adventure, and we're going to bring you to two dungeons first. To kick off Wrathstone, we have Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar. In Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar, you're going to be seeking out both halves of the Wrathstone Tower. In Frost Vault, 
half of the tablet has been sealed away by the Dwemer in a vault deep within the mountains of East March. Frostwald has all manner of creatures in it. Goblins, Dwemer, traps, and you're gonna have to battle through all of those to get to the Rasta. In depths of Malatar, you will discover that the tablet has been sealed away deep within the sunken city of Garlis Malatar, where it is protected by followers of Meridia who have devoted their very life and essence to making sure that the tablet never sees the light of day again. You're gonna go against goblin tribes, Dwemer traps, crazy constructs, and even get turned into a tiny ski tank. Collapsing bridges and structures, and I cannot wait to see how players handle it. Once you deliver the tablet halves to Abner Tharn, he takes you on this adventure that leads to the Halls of Colossus, and you witness the biggest fuck up of his career. Rastone is just the first part of the entire story that brings dragons to Tamriel, and we can't wait to see players dig in and face all these new challenges. said no spoilers. Hey, look, I see Finn. Hey, how are you? Can't hear us? Oh, yeah, they're probably oh, can't. Everybody's muted? Okay. Oh, they're all saying their ears. Their ears? <laughs> <laughs> Finn is never loud. I can't tell. 
I just can't tell if it's super loud or if. I blame. That's good then, right? I mean, all, all he has to do is talk really loud, right? Like he always does. Call tech support for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just saw yours light up. have a room full of bees we're doing this super hard mode <laughs> real life hard mode <laughs> real life hard mode and the next boss is ah i don't know why i literally have the chat in two places here Let's yeah you should kill one there is feedback when we can hear you but your voices are quiet well oh. i can fix that i could fix that oh boy how about now Testing. Are we not quiet anymore? How about now? Hello? Hello? <laughs> test, test, test. <laughs> Shimmer, I'm doing I, this for you. You're going to be my troubleshooter uh, here. I want it to be like, uh, really. All right, she says it's better.
So it's a year-long adventure, and we're going to bring you to two dungeons first. To kick off Rathstone, we have Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar. In Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar, you're going to be seeking out both halves of the Rathstone Tablet. In Frost Vault, half of the tablet has been sealed away by the Dwemer in a vault deep within the mountains of Eastmarch. Frost Vault has all manner of creatures in it. Goblins, Dwemer, traps, and you're going to have to battle through all of those to get to the Rastum. In Depths of Malatar, you will discover that the tablet has been sealed away deep within the sunken city of Garlis Malatar, where it is protected by followers of Meridia who have devoted their very life and essence to making sure that the tablet never sees the light of day again. You're going to go against goblin tribes, Dwemer traps, crazy constructs, and even get turned into a tiny skeleton. Collapsing bridges and structures, and I cannot wait to see how players handle it. Once you deliver the tablet halves to Abner Tharn, he takes you on this adventure that leads to the Halls of Colossus, and you witness the biggest fuck up of his career. Rastone is just the first part of the entire story that brings dragons to Tamriel, and we can't wait to see players dig in and face all these new challenges. So it's a year-long adventure, and we're going to bring you to two dungeons first. To kick off Rathstone, we have Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar. In Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar, you're going to be seeking out both halves of the Rathstone Tablet. In Frost Vault, half of the tablet has been sealed away by the Dwemer in a vault deep within the mountains of Eastmarch. Frost Vault has all manner of creatures in it. Goblins, Dwemer, traps, and you're going to have to battle through all of those to get to the Rathstone. In Depths of Malatar, 
you will discover that the tablet has been sealed away deep within the sunken city of Garlis Malatar, where it is protected by followers of Meridia who have devoted their very life and essence to making sure that the tablet never sees the light of day again. You're gonna go against goblin tribes, Dwemer traps, crazy constructs, and even get turned into a tiny ski tank. Collapsing bridges and structures, and I cannot wait to see how players handle it. Once you deliver the tablet halves to Abner Tharn, he takes you on this adventure that leads to the halls of Colossus, and you witness the biggest fuck up of his career. Rastone is just the first part of the entire story that brings dragons to Tamriel, and we can't wait to see players dig in and face all these new challenges. So it's a year-long adventure, and we're going to bring you to two dungeons first. To kick off Rastone, we have Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar. In Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar, you're going to be seeking out both halves of the Rastone tablet. In Frost Vault, half of the tablet has been sealed away by the Dwemer in a vault deep within the mountains of Eastmarch. Frost Vault has all manner of creatures in it. Goblins, Dwemer, traps, and you're going to have to battle through all of those to get to the Rastone. In Depths of Malatar, you will discover that the tablet has been sealed away deep within the sunken city of Garlis Malatar, where it is protected by followers of Meridia who have devoted their very life and essence to making sure that the tablet never sees the light of day again. You're going to go against goblin tribes, Dwemer traps, crazy constructs, and even get turned into a tiny ski tank. Collapsing bridges and structures, and I cannot wait to see how players handle it. Once you deliver the tablet halves to Abner Tharn, he takes you on this adventure that leads to the Halls of Colossus, and you witness the biggest fuck up of his career. 
Rastone is just the first part of the entire story that brings dragons to Tamriel. And we can't wait to see players dig in and face all these new challenges. So it's a year-long adventure, and we're going to bring you to two dungeons first. To kick off Rastone, we have Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar. In Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar, you're going to be seeking out both halves of the Rastone tablet. In Frost Vault, half of the tablet has been sealed away by the Dwemer in a vault deep within the mountains of Eastmarch. Frost Vault has all manner of creatures in it. Goblins, Dwemer, traps, and you're going to have to battle through all of those to get to the Rastone. In Depths of Malatar, you will discover that the tablet has been sealed away deep within the sunken city of Garlis Malatar, where it is protected by followers of Meridia who have devoted their very life and essence to making sure that the tablet never sees the light of day again. You're going to go against goblin tribes, Dwemer traps, crazy constructs, and even get turned into a tiny skeleton. Collapsing bridges and structures, and I cannot wait to see how players handle it. Once you deliver the tablet halves to Abner Tharn, he takes you on this adventure that leads to the Halls of Colossus, and you witness the biggest fuck up of his career. Rastom is just the first part of the entire story that brings dragons to Tamriel, and we can't wait to see players dig in and face all these new challenges.
So it's a year-long adventure, and we're going to bring you to two dungeons first. To kick off Rathstone, we have Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar. In Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar, you're going to be seeking out both halves of the Rathstone Tablet. In Frost Vault, half of the tablet has been sealed away by the Dwemer in a vault deep within the mountains of Eastmarch. Frost Vault has all manner of creatures in it. Goblins, Dwemer, traps, and you're going to have to battle through all of those to get to the Rastum. In Depths of Malatar, you will discover that the tablet has been sealed away deep within the sunken city of Garlis Malatar, where it is protected by followers of Meridia who have devoted their very life and essence to making sure that the tablet never sees the light of day again. You're going to go against goblin tribes, Dwemer traps, crazy constructs, and even get turned into a tiny skeleton. Collapsing bridges and structures, and I cannot wait to see how players handle it. Once you deliver the tablet halves to Abner Tharn, he takes you on this adventure that leads to the Halls of Colossus, and you witness the biggest fuck up of his career. Rastone is just the first part of the entire story that brings dragons to Tamriel, and we can't wait to see players dig in and face all these new challenges. So it's a year-long adventure, and we're going to bring you to two dungeons first. To kick off Rathstone, we have Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar. In Frost Vault and Depths of Malatar, you're going to be seeking out both halves of the Rathstone Tablet. In Frost Vault, half of the tablet has been sealed away by the Dwemer in a vault deep within the mountains of Eastmarch. Frost Vault has all manner of creatures in it. Goblins, Dwemer, traps, and you're going to have to battle through all of those to get to the Rathstone. In Depths of Malatar, 
you will discover that the tablet has been sealed away deep within the sunken city of Garlis Malatar, where it is protected by followers of Meridia who have devoted their very life and essence to making sure that the tablet never sees the light of day again. You're gonna go against goblin tribes, Dwemer traps, crazy constructs, and even get turned into a tiny ski tank. Collapsing bridges and structures, and I cannot wait to see how players handle it. Once you deliver the tablet halves to Abner Tharn, he takes you on this adventure that leads to the halls of Colossus, and you witness the biggest fuck up of his career. Rastone is just the first part of the entire story that brings dragons to Tamriel, and we can't wait to see players dig in and face all these new challenges. I don't know what's happening. I don't know, are we? I still see video. Oh, we are. Hey, Maybe. we think hey. we're back. Are we back? Mm. Hello? Hello. Yeah. Oh, there's people here. Hey, there we go. Something's happening. Look at that. Oh. All right. Y'all for your patience. Fixed. And that was the dungeon. Thanks yeah, for joining us. Like, uh, I think we are. All right, let's go. All right, let's go kill some. All right, tour guide Mike. All right, this don't... is uh, Frostbolt. Uh, I want to show Thoraya real quick. <laughs> All right, they say the sound is great. Awesome. Yay. So this is Thoraya. If you guys played Volenfell, you remember her. Volenfell. Whoa, back up. Back up a little bit. So this is Frostfall, this right? Is Frostfall. How do people even get to Frostfall? Frostfall, you get here through <laughs> East March. He just wants to get started already. Yeah. <laughs> so East March, right in here. Um, there's also a house that's really close to it, too. So uh, if you have ESO Plus or you uh, buy the DLC outright, you should see this icon up here. When you go in here, you're going to recognize Thoraya, and this is a, a new uh, uniform for to emphasize her archaeological nature. Um, also, if you go to Volenfell, she should have this. Uh, she should look like this. Is kind of like backfilled that, so that she has a unique appearance. <laughs> she is. Um, she has come here uh, because she heard about some Dwemer stuff, and she wants to investigate. But there's That's goblins in the way, so you got to help kill it. I As apologize now. About to do. Apologize now. So we're gonna die. Jess and I have never been through this dungeon yet. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. This will be fun. We're all gonna blame Rich too if we die. Uh huh. Saying. Blame the healer. I uh, tried to attack uh, our archer over. There. Good. I'm uh, I'm good at this game. <laughs> we play. <laughs> Hashtag Finn sucks confirmed. Just kidding. Oh, I forgot I had the little poison balls that come out. You forgot you had poison balls, huh? Hey. <laughs> oh, well, that's where we're going. Ready? So this is the uh, ice flow. Explore the ice flow rift. Um, so there's a goblin tribe that has kind of like set up shop near the. Um, Twemer, I guess, uh, but they going. don't co-mingle. That was part of a, a big thing that we wanted to 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 get across to, to people is they don't uh, the Twemer and the goblins don't exactly live uh, in harmony, and they try to avoid each other whenever possible. But you guys thought we were going that other way, didn't you? I did. I started running that way. So yeah, we're down thirty minutes. What an interesting experiment I've had. How dare you fear me? I am not scared of any of scared. This is on PTS now for anybody. This is who on wants PTS. We are actually on PTS on our uh, live accounts, actually. So, no cheats. No cuts. Packs. No coconuts. I mean, I think that's not how that saying goes. No coconuts? What the hell does that mean? No. I mean, I think it was like no cuts, no butts, no coconuts. Uh, I've literally never heard that. You've never heard no cuts, no butts, no coconuts? Like when people <laughs> cut in line? No, it was just no butts. I think you're, I think you're oh, dating no yourself, Mike. Yeah. Okay. Back in my yeah. day, it was just I guess. no butting. Back in my day. <laughs> uh, so this is Ice Stalker. This is the first boss. Uh, it looks like a standard troll, but if you notice that the armor that the troll has, it's Dwemer in nature. So this, this troll has kind of scavenged Dwemer parts and made armor out of it. This has the uh, pretty cool rocket man effect. You'll see it here in a minute. And I'm not going to tell them anything about the boss mechanics. All right, so let's do this. Okay. There's going to be ads. I know I just said I wasn't going to say uh, You anything. just spoiled it. I'm sorry. 
I mean, I assume we want to kill the ads, right? I mean, oh, look at that. Go interrupt him, please. I'm going to die if you don't. Interrupt who? The boss. Boss guy. There, there you, you go. go. Oh, my body. I was hoping somebody else would have got to. Uh... What is happening? My turn. Oh. oh, I didn't eat food. Shit. Hold on, I got. Oh my god! Didn't eat food. Stop the fight. Oh. Gina needs food. <laughs> no, oh man, it's just like in like, real life. It's like a real, it's like a real uh, encounter. So true. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> Gina's hangry. Ouch. Oh my gosh! Yes, you guys do not want to deal with it. Uh, Gina, when she's hangry. <laughs> do I act like this boss? <laughs> I, I, you just uppercut people. <laughs> just throw a little it's great Tom. Boys, with all these the air. Great. <laughs> Gina's cussing. Well, like, there's just so many of them. There's just so and many of them. And I feel like them. they're all just chasing me. Knocking my body around. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 no. You died? died. I was laying down. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Healer died. Or no, the healer didn't die. No, no, I did. Oh, too many, too many ads. Too many ads. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, God damn it. Rich! I'm laying off? down. Rich, please. <laughs> Rich, please. <laughs> Rich, please. Save me, Mike. <laughs> I'm just going to let you die. That's all of this. Uh, <laughs> save me. Uh, there we go. That's what I get for trying to help. That's what I get for trying to help. <laughs> there we go. Now you're back. Thank you. Do your thing. Hey, Where are you going? I don't want to touch that. Apparently, uh... Boom! Shock oh. There we go. There, there we go. He's Ray. dead. Dead. And that allows you to get into... What kind of loot do you get? Uh, what kind of loot do you get? You get one of... I just of got a Tzogajabin belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it, huh? Uh, so you see Thraya and uh, her entourage uh, head in here. belt. Yeah. Into the Frostbolt Ruins. And this is where you get to see the first... Uh, the first time we've ever showed this in game. Uh, this is the uh, Delver. Whoa! Is that a spaceship? No, it's a Delver. It's actually a, a construct. <laughs> and this one has been uh, ice locked, so it's just stuck. Uh, that sucks. Places, can you? A giant cannon for an arm. And, uh, I mean, can you? He may be like useful. Like, yeah. Yeah, he may be. If you listen to what the riot says. Uh, she talks about uh, you. You got to find ways to repair this. Follow me, and I'll show you where. I don't know where you went. I'm jumping. There you are. There we go. Again. Want to shut that right? Give me a fucking switch for a minute. Ah, Whoa. Yes, yeah, so you are going to see the Skivaton. The Skivaton's kind of leading you through this thing. Uh, stuff. So, um. Kind of follow which way the skeeves uh going and uh take you where you need to go. Hence, leave. Look at this. Should have been a tour guide in real life. Mm -hmm. Let me show you some of the most dangerous parts of. Uh... Okay. Oh, that's a lot of purple. Oh. Is that a lot of purple? Oh, I changed my thing to purple. Boom. All right. Now we're going to come in here and... Boy. Dog give in. Okay, I'm not going to tell you any mechanics here. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be glorious. Oh, oh boy. I'm excited. Uh, Don't forget to heal. For those uh, questioning, this is on normal, and the, the reason this is on normal is because he, Rich is healing. Oh, sure. Oh, Blame, no. Blame the healer. Blame uh -oh. the healer. The fin bus just drove over Rich. All right. Ready? Three, two, yep. one, YOLO. Yeah. YOLO. Here, have some, some of my green balls. Some of your green what? My little poison balls. I was going to say something else. Heather. Well, how do you... How do you get rid of that shit? Run away Don't go from each other, not towards each oh. other. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> Thanks, Gina. Ads. Yep, Ads. Billy Ads. I'm trying. I just want Rich's sweet heels. <laughs> Whose phone keeps vibrating? It's so distracting. 
Is it I'm mine? sorry. Is it mine? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, where did he go? He's gone. There he is. There he is. He just took a little trip. Uh oh. What do the thingies mean? Just, just hit, damage him. You gotta get through his damage shield. Damage him. There we go. What happens if you don't damage him? Then he keeps oh. doing that until you die. That's... Oh, come here. You... I like Jess with the legit call outs. <laughs> ads. She knows what she's doing. She's like, ads, I don't want to die. Get on this. <laughs> like, don't it. make me replace you with LFG. Stay basic. <laughs> Fun times next. Oh, it, things are happening. Yeah, things are happening. Something's happening. <laughs> I don't know what this shit is that's following me, but oh, <laughs> that is a hurricane. I guess uh, that shit that was following me just killed me. Here okay. I am. Oh, shit is following me, but oh, uh, save the Gina. Hurricane. I guess uh, that shit that was following. Yeah, come, come get me. Oh, okay. she's talking the boss like verbally. She's like, oh, yeah. that was a bad time. Girl, you got? Just bad kill it. Yeah. Dead. He's dead. You got it. There we go. <laughs> Here's the Skeveton. Why is everyone spamming in chat? We guys told you. We don't have to do that. Right? Oh, I got more to Zogvins. Zogvins. That's good. That's good. Oh. So now the Skeeven kind of leads you. Can you sit in this chair? Where, no. Because that's it's got goblin poop on it. So you don't <laughs> want to sit in it. <laughs> wow. I don't really know if that's true or not. <laughs> oh, it is now. It is now. Gosh. Now everybody's going like to tank. <laughs> everybody's going to look at me for uh, when there's not goblin poop on it. I'm like, you said an ESO live. <laughs> I want my goblin poop. Oh, so this is a telegraph mechanic for you might see in the next boss fight. See this laser? You don't want to oh, get yeah. hit by laser. that. Laser. Laser. You don't want to get hit by it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> just so Gina walks it. right through it. Damn, Gina. <laughs> 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 I thought I was fast. <laughs> this, is, this is a weird science. You don't want the laser to. This go might off. hurt. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it. All right, ready? Uh, what's the worst that could happen here? I mean, I see a lot of holes in the wall. Yes. Um, I see a lot of gears moving. Yep, there's gears moving and holes in the oh, walls. Lord. You're putting it together. What next? <laughs> I see a And then the boss comes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, more lasers. This ain't so bad at first. Oh, little dudes. Kill the dudes. Hey, guys, uh, come stand by knee. Trust us. Stand by me. There's. You're here to die. What? <laughs> I got Oops. Jess. All right, I got a. Oh, no, I don't. I got a dude. Got the dude. Yep. I'm not quite sure. So this guy. Sh so if you guys haven't found out, this guy shields himself, and then we have to use the shield, use to, the block. shield to block. Use the So stand over on my side, over here. That's going to hurt. Uh. Oh, I get it. Get it? Yes. Now I'm trying to send a whisper to Gina. Oh, Good. hello. Fast. S, 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 S. <laughs> <laughs> All right. W, A, S, W, A, S, W, A, S. W, 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 W. Fast, fast, fast. F, 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 F. Why isn't my res working? <laughs> Up. Sorry. I mean, we put the thing at the beginning of the stream. Which side? Which side, Gina? We put the thing at the beginning this, of the stream. Which Oops. side, Gina? Side, uh, side, this side. Wrong side. Oh, fuck. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> this side now. This side now. Keep going. One more. Yep. Oh. It gets worse. Oh, how did what? you? What killed me? I was standing right there. No, nope, you weren't. I definitely was. <laughs> you definitely, I definitely was. Eighty-three it just killed like, me. It didn't look like it didn't look like that to me. No, dude, I was. I was definitely. It looked there. like you died to the. All right, I'm not gonna res in the middle. I saved of you. Shit. You're good. Stop resing in this. <laughs> you can totally res. Resing in this. <laughs> you all can die for all I care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was doing a spinny thing. I'm gonna You're the ledge man. All that. You need to. Ban right by me.
Ooh, for other side, sorry. Stand over here. Mike's Stand trying to here. kill people. Oh shit, one more. Oh god, the other way. <laughs> There's so many ads. Oh god. Shit. Oh god. Oh whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I think I get it now. Now that he's uh, you think you get it? now that he stepped in everyone. Yeah, I think Don't I get worry, it. Don't worry, guys. I, I got after it after I got hit by every laser. I think I get it. <laughs> I didn't die. I, I get it. I sort of lost. <laughs> Those might be bad. I got it. <laughs> and screw you guys. Yay! Yay! Gina, please. All right, what kind of loot? Some more. <laughs> Say, it. come on. Mighty glacier. All right. Good job. Please. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> we, all need. we got it. We got it. Got it. This is a. Uh... Oh, Mike, you forgot something. Wait for me. What did I get? Monster beating on me. <laughs> Where did everybody go? <coughs> oh, good. So you guys can handle this. Yeah. What do we need you for? Right. I'm just kidding. I mean, I hear that Said every Lynch day. Bed. So, you know. Aww, that's not true. We need you to eat lasers to tell us mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at telling you guys we're not to stand. So now we're back to the where we first started. If you remember, this was the door that led to the left, but it blocked. Oh, yeah. Just go back just into the big circle. Can you go either direction? No, you have to go the way we went. I thought I could play how I wanted. You can, as long as it's to the right. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you want to go right, it's exactly how you want. Oh, yeah, here Open we go. Open sesame. So, uh, yeah. And now uh, Arantxa here is going to open this other door for us. Hurry up, Arantxa. She's got it. She's getting there. She's got to wait for hey, the ski baton. Lock, it's a difficult lock, and she was taking her time <laughs> lock picking it. She just wanted to make sure she got it right. Yep. You see, we didn't uh, necessarily mix the uh, Dwemer and the goblins together. Like, they wouldn't gather. So, wanted to definitely keep them separate. Uh, so, it doesn't appear that uh, even though they're, they're coexisting, uh, not happy about it. Would be happy about they it. They have a uh, tentative truce. Not really. Here, we're going to follow this little ski tent guy here. Uh, my buddy. Is that a bunny? No, it's a little. No, it's not a bunny. Kind of we don't have any bunnies. Oh, actually, yeah. The little pet that was following yeah. somebody. Easy, easy. Get wrecked. So. For anybody who might have just tuned in, welcome. We're running Frost Vault. Frost Vault. On PTS. One of the Upcoming. dungeons involved in Rastos. Start of the Season of the Dragon. <coughs> uh, this is where you help Thoraya get through a Dwemer um, and Goblin uh, area in order to find a uh, discover mystery she just knew that there was something here that was powerful and the goblins uh Oops. hid it away but they it wasn't sure what um so at the end you find out spoiler alert it's the it's the half the rest of <laughs> oh. i didn't mean to spoil for everybody uh, huh? sorry Here to go mike yeah we haven't announced release date yet right nope I don't think well, so. Well, we're approaching we? PTS three, so yes, we are. You know, you uh, look at previous oh, PTSs. Wrong bar. What a noob. Hey, get into that. Uh, get into that cone. I'm sure, don't. Why is my bear you. just standing there doing nothing? Come on, man. Hold on. She just gotta fix her bear. Rich is standing there doing nothing. Oh, your bear is standing. My there bear doing. is just standing around picking. You know. Your bear really likes goblins. Did you did you tell it the goblins were bad? You got to tell the goblins are bad, otherwise it doesn't know. Get them. There we go. Come here. Oh, stand in the bad shit. You want to stand in the bad? That's not a good plan. I said, don't stand in it. These goblins are wearing the armor set that drops in here. If you get a chance to see it before they die. 
I didn't because we yeah, just killed them so fast. We <laughs> killed them. All right, now we got uh, Rizuk and Avalanche. Bone chill. Rizuk and Bone. Going chill. in hot. Oh, she's building Cold a friend. in this case. Oh, yeah. Rizuk. Uh, so. Three, two, one, go. No, oh, wait. <laughs> I'm just going to say, everybody attack Rizzo. <laughs> I'll handle Bone Chill. You guys just handle Who's Bone Chill? The Avalanche? I'm sorry. The I'm one that has Bone avalanche. Chill over his name? Okay. No, no, no. It's really... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we practiced. Uh, I'm going to handle Avalanche. You guys handle Rizzo. Watch okay. out for all the things that happen. Go. <laughs> oh. oh, she's hardy on me. <laughs> she turned yep. on you. Oh. You're going to be tanking. Oop. All right. Well, we'll just kite away. This will be fine. That. No, there's not. It's just that it's chilling the air. What's that mean? Uh, it means making Rich, it colder. Help me. You said no spoilers. Ah! Oh! Oh God! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Rich's epic heals for the win. <laughs> wow! Oh. Yeah. Rich. Rich, you're please. a champion among men. <laughs> Sometimes I get it right. Oh man, you should be a healer all the time. <laughs> uh, Mr. Finn, I got. I him. think you're. Uh, Are you sure? Doing yeah, the taunt yeah. thingy. The taunt thingy. Do the thing. Do the taunt thingy. What's taunt? Oh God, where's Rich? Come here. Rich is chilling there. If you stand in front of me, I can give you uh, buffs. What if we block? Will that do anything? Maybe. Uh -oh. Probably not. It did. It did. It did. It did. did. Something. Did. Something good happened from that. Something good happened. And I don't know if it Where was because we go? blocked or yes. we were all on top of each other. Well, oh, maybe that's it. Body heat, right? I ain't a rubbish. Body. So. <laughs> Body heat? Is that a thing? In yes. So? <laughs> we all have to hug each other. <laughs> I mean. And cuddle for warmth. That's, that's the mechanic. We like to push uh, We like to push new mechanics. There, she's Hooray. You get close and you slash cuddle, and that boss is dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that works. Is it? Cuddle. Yeah, you slash cuddle. And Not then the boss cuddle. is defeated. <laughs> like if we all stack on top of each other. No. Well, it should. <laughs> That's why I should be the next dungeon designer. Right? <laughs> all the mechanics are stacked on top. And then you win. Everybody... That was called launch. Cuddle party. I mean, we have that in... Um, Cloudrest, right? Did. Everybody's just uh -huh. on top of each other. We like other. to change things up and not use the same mechanic. <laughs> <We're good. laughs> Except you just have to use the same cuddle emote over there. Yes, you uh -huh. do. You like shake, and then when you connect with somebody else, you get a big hug, and then it's like, oh, Who's the big spoon? And then the screen fades to like a heart, and then uh, the boss is dead. <laughs> I can't handle the cute, and then he dies. You need to stand up here, Gina. Right here. You need to stand right by this door, Gina. Right by this door. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Why? I'm just joking. I don't think anything happens. Oh. <laughs> Why did they get away from the door? Although I will show you something. There's things happening. You can stand in front of the door there, oh, Gina. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, the door right. broke. The door did break. <laughs> Legit play-by-play. -play. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So, uh... Soraya is going to run over here and jump to that platform nice, safe, and sound where everybody isn't. Uh, <laughs> and she's going to be very helpful. Yeah, she is. She's going to she's gonna yell stuff repeatedly. Well, they told again. me to turn the sound off, so I can't hear anything. Yeah, don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was there. that sound she made? It was yeah. a grunt. <laughs> Jumping's hard. I didn't hear anything. All right, okay. we're going to... Boy, you guys want to get sure off? It was a very awkward grunt. You know, it's it, she exerted herself jumping to the platform. <laughs> it's a tough jump. You know, it, some people make weird sounds. You ain't got to judge. Well, <laughs> I'll judge you do that. Who's gonna be the first one to roll off the edge? Mike uh, or Gina? I, I don't know. We'll see. I wouldn't put it past. Oh, oh no! there they go! Did somebody <laughs> literally just roll off the edge? Yeah. They got <laughs> Oh God. Just not that who's gonna be the first uh, one to pitch, Mike? And <laughs> <laughs> Jess was like, "Hold my beer." <laughs> Dude just came over, and was like, <laughs> oh, that, was, "That was me." Yeah, so we if had there cuddles. is a cliff that I can fall off, I yeah. will fall oh, off. Yes. Of it. We had cuddles in the last time. <laughs> they, they both threw off the edge. All right, hold on, hold on. So I guess we should stay in the middle, huh? Oh, and interrupt the and interrupt the, the duders. Got it. 
<laughs> that was pretty well timed. I got to admit, that was. It's All right. Like so it. now we get to the maze. This is the. Uh, this is pretty awesome. You're gonna see these little skeveton appear with the with the green. Everybody, go grab oh, one. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Just everybody, <laughs> grab one. And then you're gonna go into this maze. Grab what? <gasps> Fine. Turn into a skeveton. Oh, little green thing. And then. Oh yeah. yeah. So everybody, uh, go to the central pylon and then spam your one ability to fill up your ultimate. And then follow the blue lights in the maze. Everybody take a different way. Follow the blue lights until you get to uh, like a, a conduit end. And then use your ultimate when you get to that end. You'll see what I mean. Get to the light. <laughs> this? It's not. You got to follow the blue lights, lights on, on the, the ground. The, the blue lights. <laughs> Uh, on the ground, it's blue. Oh my! God. <laughs> Hold on. The oh, normal, you only need to have one person know how to do this. <laughs> Thank God for that. Oh, I see. A point that we have. Uh, Hold on, I gotta restart. See, Gina's just Gina's just showing that feature is really what all that is. Oh, what, one key. What's I funny was? is when we when we were doing the Rastone reveal on Twitch go. and we had the spammy clicky stuff. Yeah. And there was somebody on Twitter that said, "Hey." If the next dungeon doesn't have a spam click a button <laughs> uh, uh, mechanic, then you, you need to. And this was kind of, it was weird because this was That's way red, Gina. beforehand. I had but to go back to the thing. It, this oh. one kind of does. You spam the one button and it fills up your ultimate. And then there you go. <laughs> follow the blue one. So how so is that this tweet different well. in so, Vet? In Vet, it's, uh, yeah. well, you're going to see when we get here in, in uh, you can see it also when we get here in, uh, 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 normal. Oh, we did it. With, uh, there's going to be like flame traps and spinning stuff. Boy, here we go. And now we get to see this bad boy. Come over here. Follow me, Gina. I'm going to show you something. I Dan, don't know right if I want to follow you. Dan, right here. <laughs> right here. Don't do that. Right here, Gina. No. Right here. Don't do no. that. Right there. No. I'm going to stand over here. Right there. 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 Right don't stand on the red, Gina. Where's Don't Rich? stand on the red. <laughs> <laughs> Get me up. Why am I just a little? Because that red. I'm just a the... pile of dirt right now. Oh, you know oh, that entire God. ground is red? No, uh -oh. I didn't. Well, look at it. I uh, will when I get res. Okay, I'm going to drop an ulti here. And then try and res. Ugh. Oh man, that was Just classic. Just don't follow me if I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get away from this beam. Apparently, you can't come over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got this. All right. All right, ready? Let's get the arms down. Hey, if I knock things over there, why don't they die? That's not fair. No, Actually, that... if you knock them off the edge, they should die. That red. red and they didn't. Oh, no, they don't die that because they're immune to that. Oh, whatever. Cheap. Cheap. <laughs> That's cheap. Uh, no. It's being a Dwemer. <laughs> so, kill uh, one arm at a time. Um, one so that, arm. Okay, yeah, I yeah, see it. You want to target the arm. This is just like in uh, that other thing. And that other thing. That other thing. That other uh, it, yeah, like I said, this is uh, this is the Assembly General's half-brother. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a half. Get it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't quit your All right, job. now there's a centurion up, so I want you guys to kill this centurion before you kill that arm. Oh, well, arm's gonna die. What happens if you don't? Uh, then you get two centurions. I also don't see you. There he is. Oh, well, there's a second God, arm. Mind. So Whatever, heavy. just get both arms. Whatever. Get off me. Now attack the body. I'll just tank this guy forever. All right, there we go. Uh oh. Uh. Also, watch out for the electric lightning balls. And run away from this. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. A lot what of fire. I, I got stuck on the dude. Yeah, because the lightning balls stun you. Yeah. That's what I said watch out for the lightning ball. I mean, I was trying to watch out for everything. Yep. Right. Save Gina. <laughs> Gosh. Why did his arm Skeeve grow back? Phase. Give it to face. Give it to face. I want to roast is, Gina. I'm dead. I'm no. you. Sucks. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there, arrest you. Oh, for three. You don't have to get a skeeva to right. dead. One. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Too slow. What bullshit was that? <laughs> <laughs> I was counting down. I mean, you did say no spoilers. <laughs> So there is a self heal on the Skeevitons. Oh my god! Uh, so if you get uh, damaged, <laughs> self heal. Like I said, uh, in normal, you only need to know one person only needs to know to do this. So I guess if you don't get to it in time, it just kills you. It goes Chris Blue. You know, yeah, because what you're told doing. Me that. You should have said don't you, rest. You said no spoilers. What you what you <laughs> here is you're basically deactivating the craziness that's happening out outside. All right, so we're all good. Res Gina. I did. This is a going theme. If you, I got her. Ex <laughs> you want me to explain lights? Because hey, there's, said, I there's... want to know his impression. Of <laughs> <laughs> That's my Tina impression, by the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <sure. laughs> uh, watch out for the the spinnies. Yeah. For the record, chat. First of all, you guys are being rude. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done this dungeon, right? Uh, We're yeah. all learning together, except for Finn. Uh, yeah. We're learning. Richard, Don't rez. Done I've done it. Yet. Yeah. Okay. Don't okay. rez oh. yet. Okay. Now rez. Did you get her? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> oh God. Getting caught in between the leaves. One of his thingies is gone. All right. Oh God. Oh God. Save her. <gasps> I got this injury. <laughs> oh, mother of God. Centurion <laughs> down now. Take out the arm. Don't don't run by me if you can help ah, it. It's fun. <laughs> General rule of thumb. Stay away from the tank. Okay, his thingy's gone. Thingy is gone. Attention, everyone. <laughs> uh, attention, anything. Everyone. <laughs> thingy has been eliminated. Oh. <laughs> nope, that's fire. No. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh oh. <laughs> I love the different levels of rage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, darn it. Rez coming. Oh, no, it's not. Comes fire. And he switched it up. You got to go to the other way. Yeah, don't get hit by the fire. Yep. Generally a good rule of thumb in most dungeons. <laughs> Like it's, it's unforgivable. <coughs> All right, try on the red. Yeah, <coughs> can't breathe. This is probably not Man. the best spot to be. Are you role playing what's happening to your character? <laughs> <laughs> Don't take this yet, Gina. I'm not God. resing. Uh... Did that go off? It did. I'm okay, just waiting good. a second. I'm resing in the middle of a fire with a century. Oh God, I'm gonna die! Die. Two ads and a blade on top of me. <laughs> Stop it. There we go. All right. Nothing ever. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Follow the fire. Right through the trap. See, I think I was just trying to avoid the blade so much that I just ran into the fire. Oh, dear. Eva turn face. All right, I didn't do this last time because I screwed it up. Well, it's way different this time. Not telling you what, though. <laughs> Just kidding. There's actually traps in here. Like I said, there's a heal. Yeah. Number four, right? Or yes. You can heal yourself. Oh. And three you makes you go fast. Traps. Okay. Take your time. Who gets... Oh, well. There's also a speed boost. I was just going to say who gets hit by traps, but... uh. Three is a speed boost. Okay. I'm just. Oh, here we go. I did the thing. Yay, All right. Nice. Go team. We're good. Uh oh. I'll stand in front of that. Which armor are we going for? That one. All of them. Oops. Oh, also, watch out for the little telegraphs that come out, and there's steam, which will knock you off the edge. I want to go for a ride. You already did? Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> You've already seen that mechanic? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
Oh, look at that. I love it. I have shards down, and Rich doesn't take them. <laughs> I can oh, if you shoot. want. <laughs> Darn it. Take your own shards? No. Okay. Gosh. Oh. I think you guys got this. 29%. <laughs> Time to give 110% for the last 29%. So much. Oh my god. I keep getting stuck. Yeah, you can't you can't get that close to him. Ah, uh, I saw. Like That's what happened to me last. Okay. Don't stand next to me. I'm mouth breathing. That's how you know it's serious. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 That's how bad you know it is. Watch out for the fire. Hey. Nice. Look at that. Success. Bye. Hey. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's fun. Loot, loot. And that. Yeah, that's fun. What I Is. Stone Keeper. And how you get through the entire uh, dungeon. And then you have the Rasto. <laughs> cool. Right here. Ooh, let's put it together. I heard good things happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely nothing bad. So Thry doesn't exactly know what this is, but she's going to find like, somebody yeah. who does. Let's take it. So in Depths of Malator, which is the other dimension included in this, uh, in, in Rastone, you help Thraya go through... Um, uh, an old imperial fort which leads to an alien ruins which sealed away the other half of the rest of and uh, you get help from you, know, you get help from Thraya's dead husband Quintus I don't know if I want help from a dead husband well he's not yeah he's a jerk so you don't necessarily want his help but you don't <laughs> think he did, so. spoiler he's a jerk as as most dead people with their soul trapped in a soul gem and a Dwemer contraption all. <laughs> hey, should we play the trailer seven more times? Hey, yeah. Did anyone <laughs> miss it earlier? Uh, I, you want me to live do it? Well, <laughs> no. I don't remember the word. No, let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> or CJ. <laughs> well, that was all fun. Right. All right. So, well, that was yeah, that was fun. fun. Yep. Dungeon coming with Wrathstone DLC. Yep. Fun mechanics. Yeah, yeah. You can try it now on the PTS. You can try it now on the PTS. We're still making adjustments. Uh, you look future PTS updates. To there are see. adjustments coming on Monday. Yeah, there's adjustments coming on Monday, but then for this particular boss, we're um, in the um, yeah adjustment. So just keep that. Yes. This is probably yes. more difficult than it will be eventually. One of the cool things going at the PTS I saw was in uh, veteran it will let you just kind of look at the Skeveton abilities for just, yeah. you know, a little bit before you actually start everything. Cause so if you, yeah, if you oh, remember in nice. the, in the like tutorial part where she puts the Skeveton towns and you go in there and those electrical walls are up and then you have to charge up the, the ultimate, it's going to be like that in all of the versions of it. So you start the Skevetons in even hard mode so that you, when you get in there until you charge it up, the timer for hard mode, the timer doesn't start. So, it gives people a chance that when they first get in there and they have the skeevatons, they can kind of look at their new abilities and figure out what to do. Because in hard mode, there's three different skeevatons and they, uh, with three different types of abilities. There's two DPS skeevatons, tank skeevatons. Oh, that's cool. So, those that kind of mixes it up a lot. So everybody yeah. needs to know what they can do. So, when you get into hard mode and you get into skeevatons and the walls are up, and until somebody charges up their ultimate, it doesn't really start the fight. So it gives people a chance to take a look at what they're building. I saw some people say they had to like just quickly take a screenshot and yeah, like go look at that yeah. screenshot. Gosh. Yeah, we, <laughs> we fixed that up. This should help alleviate that. that so you go in there for the first time in hard mode. You take a breather and mm -hmm. uh, see uh, what the abilities actually do. Yeah. Well, cool. Thanks for staying late. Yeah. yeah. Sure, this was fun, everybody. We're going to head this. home in the yeah. snow now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. That'll be really fun. I'm gonna, <laughs> can't get the, wait. the dogs out and drag my car sled. <laughs> it'll be fun. Just go downhill. Like the Adirod on the way home. Yeah. Just don't go up any hills. It'll be fun. Right. All right. Uh, thank you all. Who is oh. waiting for Twitch drops? They will go out as soon as the stream ends. Give it a little bit. Because uh, there are a lot of you today. 
Thanks yeah. for coming. Yeah, thank you all for the patience. Yep. Thanks for sticking around. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Bye, all. Bye everybody. <laughs>